can you tell me what you want to accomplish by re kind of recontextualizing Lynn Hirschman's original performance? What I what I hope to accomplish? Yeah, what are your <laughs> goals? <laughs> yeah. I I hope that out of it not only can I get an idea of how differently I'm treated just based on uh, altering my physical appearance and um, also by altering my behavior towards others, how that might change how I'm treated. Because my original idea was, was that everybody around you more or less manipula manipulates your identity and reflects upon your identity, so you change based on the reactions that you get from people. So it's kind of an experiment with that, and then also this idea that um, as a woman in American society, in American culture, um, you kind of have to change yourself to fit this um, ideal woman or this ideal mold that is completely unattainable and um, I don't know who the hell has a time <laughs> to, to keep up with all those things like to be thin and fit and then also like be really beautiful all the time I have no idea um, and then also on top of that like have a personality that pleases men heterosexual men so it's kind of an exploration of all those things <laughs> Yeah, like, Ooh, you're so strong, Willow. Is it new? I wish I was more like you. I wish I was more like you too. Yeah. I don't think I'm you enough feel like me. You're so, you're I'm so like, good. Okay. Your boobs look great. Thank you. Your boobs like always look good. Thank you. I did a boob shot to show how good your boobs look. Thank you. So my hair is a hot mess. Oh no, it's just hot. Does anybody know where I can get some grade A meat around here? No, some beefcake. Some like beefcake that will just like find me everything. So what do you think about Willow? Well, I just met her. Um, I'm not from the East Coast. New York by way of Boston. And I moved to Northern California for a reason. And it's to not make girls like Willow. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Dublin, but I can't eat the cheese because it's just so good. I can't eat any of this food because it all has calories in it, and I'm on a calorie free diet. How do you expect to get energy? I have energy. I have all the energy I need from within. My energy comes from my heart. And from my soul. yoga. I'm from yoga. That's why I love yoga because you don't really need to eat. You're not supposed to eat in yoga. When was the last time you ate? Um, it's been... Well, I ate... Okay, I ate and broke it. I ate today, I had lunch. Oh, yeah. Because it was a date. I, I had one... I had one and a half dumplings. No, I had one and a quarter dumplings. And then I had, like... A sip of soup, because you had to be polite, because they gave us free soup. And then I had, um, like, three mushu pork hats. Oh, my God, I think I died and went to heaven. But prior to that, I didn't have anything to do with the last two weeks. So can you tell me a little bit about this process that you're taking? Um, yeah, so I kind of have talked to a lot of people that I'm close to in my life to get their opinion um, on how I might achieve this while still keeping with like everything that I'm doing at school because I knew for me, for Kim, I was not willing to sacrifice going to dance class and participating in all the classes that I'm in. So I tried to figure out how I might um, negotiate the two. So stay in character as Willow but still do everything that Kim usually does but in character. Family, but it's really cute. You probably didn't care. I don't know if that's what it's called.
Yeah, he's very mediocre. Because he put out like every single day. He works out every single day. And I was thinking like we could work out. Like how much it's more to Yeah. We ate today. I know, ate today. I know, I ate so you can't today. eat till like next Thursday. The world as a whole would look so much better if they were just like you. Yeah. I won't eat till next Thursday. Love you guys. I guess I was just trying to find different ways to solidify this Willow identity and then on top of that um, find other ways that people outside of just my friends could meet Willow and interact with Willow and solidify her identity and I thought that one of the first ways that that would be possible is having a Facebook but I didn't realize that a lot of rules have changed. Um, so, so yeah, dealing with all of that and then now trying to um, reorient myself and make sure that this can still happen um, and also the solidifying of identity can still happen. So I'm just trying to figure out how I can find more ways to do that. So I'm thinking of trying like Twitter or Tumblr. Um, I have an OkCupid. Okay so at least that's giving me some interaction with the public and people believe that I'm real on that even though I give really vapid <laughs> answers to everything. I'm about to go on a date with Alec Strout who I met through OkCupid and also Facebook briefly before I got shut down and uh, we're gonna go sushi together so that should be interesting and I have no idea what's gonna happen I said that I like cats and dogs, but really, yeah. truthfully, if I had to pick between the two, I yeah. love cats. They're so glamorous. They're so beautiful and sweet and skinny. When do you work next? Or when do you next have a day off? A day off? Um, <laughs> get off after for Monday. I think I'm pretty, pretty free after all that. Well, up until like 7.30, we have to seven. go back in. So. Go back into the store? Yeah. Do you work really late hours or something? Kind of. Yeah. So. Why did you decide to not go to school? I don't know, it just wasn't my thing. Are you, you know? just not very ambitious or something? Um, depending on what do you mean by ambitious, I guess. Um, I like, I don't know, I just like working, you know, I just like working out. Chilling. I well, did both. I thought about doing some modeling on the side. Oh, some modeling. That's what I've been thinking about. Like what kind of modeling? Like underwear modeling? Or? Just whatever gig I can get. Like I've had a few offers. But... I mean, I know you've got such like a ripped body, so it'd be good for underwear modeling. Yeah, I try to keep it up. You know? I'd love to learn your workout regimen. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Yeah. We could work out together. Yeah, maybe. Like, so, you play with your hair a lot. You nervous or something? No, I'm not nervous. I just really like my hair. I would love to look like Barbie. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. Oh, I think you already kind of do, though. Yeah, well, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Yeah, I think so. I know. Wasn't she, like, bottled after some German chick or something? I don't really know. Like, oh well. I don't really pay attention to those things. 
Yeah, I know German women kind of scare me, so I'm just kind of like, uh, I don't know. Are you German? No. I am German and Belgian. Yeah, I'm kind of like a mix of things, you know? Yeah, like a little pot. Yeah. yeah, me too. I'm Irish and I'm Scottish, which I heard conflicts with each other. I don't know why. I don't. I don't know. They're pretty much like the same fucking thing. I feel like I turned out pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't really know how I feel about Alec. Um, I mean, he seemed sweet and he was nice, but he didn't really have a lot to say about his whole chilling thing. I'm not sure if this like chilling thing is just him not really having a life. Um, he works out at least, which made me happy, and he said that I could work out with him if I wanted to, so that might be interesting. Um, but, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna hang out with him again and see how I feel, um, cause I just didn't really, I feel like what I want to do with my life doesn't really align with what he wants to do in his life. Like, I want to go places and I know I'm going to be successful. I'm updating my Instagram. So far, I haven't seen any crazy. Everybody looks kind of... Hey guys, it's Willow. I just came back from the Easy Lounge, which is like a really fancy bar, and I just had like an amazing cocktail. And seriously, like I was just really disappointed in the bar because there was nobody there that was like rich or successful looking. Everybody just kind of looked like a bum. And the bartender was not very nice to me. Like she like reprimanded me. When I went back to my table and said, like, oh, you should have waited for your drink. And I'm like, excuse me, but, like, I don't wait for my drinks. Like, obviously, you're supposed to serve me. But anyways, I'm just glad to be home. And I'm just exhausted and just ready to sleep. I was hoping to get some, like, grade A meat, though, and, like, find a rich man to take me out, but maybe I just need to try my luck at like Disco Volante or like some other bar with like better, older, richer men. But I'll see you soon and thanks for checking me out. I love you. I hate myself. I just hate myself. I hate myself so much. It's really hard being perfect. It's really hard being perfect. It's really hard being perfect and beautiful and skinny.